Welcome back to your channel. Today we're going to be changing the oil on a 1997 Ford F-150 4.6 liter V8 Trident. And we're going to be using Penn's Oil High Mileage Full Synthetic Oil 5W20 recommended by Ford. And it takes 6 quarts of engine oil and this is the type of oil filter that you need right here. And um, I'm going to show you how to change it today. All right, so the tools that you need to take off the, uh, the bolts for the drain plug, you're going to need a 16 millimeter um, socket with a ratchet. And it's going to be this bolt right here. You're going to loosen that up and then you're going to make sure you have your drain pan right here. And to make sure you catch all the oil. And once you finish catching on oil, you put the nut back on. All right, so when you got it loose enough to unthread it by hand, you're going to slightly go unthread it now. And you're going to make sure you uh, put pressure on the bolt, push it in. So when you feel that the threads are skipping now, you can uh, jerk your hand fast. It can not get full of oil and then it will release right now. Yep. All right. So that's your drain plug. You can place it right here. And that's all the oil coming out. This thing looks like it was due for an oil change already. But that's why we're doing it here right now. So we're just going to let it drain real quick. And I'll be right back. Alright, so when most of the oil is already out, you can get your drain plug bolt, clean it off. And then you can go and reinstall it into the uh, pan right here. Do it by hand so you don't cross thread the drain plug bolt. and once you get it most of the way there you're going to wipe it down real quick all right and then you're going to get it snug now uh, it's supposed to be 10 foot pounds to tighten this bolt up but since I don't have one that measures in 10 foot pounds. I'm just gonna do it by feel. All right, so you're gonna tighten it down right here. Make sure you try to snug it down, not too tight because you also don't wanna strip the threads. And once you feel it's tight enough, if there's any excess oil, you go wipe it down. All right, that looks good. And then from here, you're gonna go to the oil filter which is right here located just behind the power steering pump and uh, you're gonna try and loosen it now if it's too tight then you can get some oil pliers or oil filter pliers and then loosen it by that way but um, I'm trying to do it by hand so I'm gonna see how this goes all right we got the old oil filter out. It is right here. Uh, there's a little bit of finagling, but we got it around. So how you want to get it out is that you want to go through uh, this side, and then you're going to go through this side right here, because you can try and go from here, but there's not enough space. So what happened is that it just gets stuck there, so you have to slide it out more, and then get it past the sway bar. Or not sway bar, um get it past this piece of metal right here and then you can get it out and drop it in now another thing you do have to be worried about is that it will drip down a lot so it drips down from right here and also uh, back there where you see that drip is yeah so you're trying to make sure that you angle your uh, your pan somewhere where you can actually catch all the oil just a little side note because I did drop some right there um, so yeah all right, so what you want to do next is grab your oil and then make sure you pre-fill the filter just a little um, because it is slightly at an angle that we have to tilt it so we're not trying to make sure that we spill all the oil out that we put back in. So once we get it past like that, we just let it seep inside through the filter and we're grabbing some with a little bit of our finger right here and then we're going to put it around the O-ring right here just to... Uh, make sure we have a good coating of oil 
for the next time whenever we take it out it becomes easier and also so this gasket right here doesn't get stuck to the block of the engine so that's another thing to get look out for that on your old oil filter make sure that you still have that uh, gasket right here because if you don't then you might as well go and check uh, your block to make sure you didn't leave it there because if you double gasket it then it's gonna leak so we don't want the oil leaking so double check, making sure that you still have your gasket on your filter, and we'll continue. All right, so we've got the oil filter right here. All right, so we're back with the oil filter here. We're gonna go and, I spilled some already, all right. Uh, we're gonna go and get it in here like so all right and then we gotta angle it to make sure we uh get in contact with the um, threads and then try and thread it in Alright, so once you're done installing your oil filter, make sure you tighten it down by hand. And once you're done, wipe it down. Make sure there's no leaks. In this case, it doesn't look like it's leaking. Wipe down the surfaces where the oil did leak. I did wipe it down the best I can. And now we're going to go to the top of the engine to fill it with oil. Alright, so we're going to fill the engine up with engine oil. Make sure you have your funnel ready. And then you're going to pour it in, like so. And remember, this engine does take six quarts, so make sure you put in six quarts. All right, there goes one. And get the fifth quart ready. All right, so we're just emptying out the five quart bottle. And once we're done, we can just take it out, like so. All right. Now, here is the big part. We're gonna check the oil level now. We go up to here where the oil dipstick is. And, all right, so the dipstick is right here. And pull that out. It goes down there. And we're gonna wipe it down right here. The back in. All right. And from there, we are gonna take out the funnel. Make sure you get a rag and put it in the hole to make sure that no more oil comes out. All right. From there, we'll put the cap back on. Like so. All right. there if you see that little light it is going to show at the beginning because that's a oil light now that's just a warning telling you that there's no oil into the engine or there's no oil pressure but that's just because we took all the oil out from the engine and we put some new oil inside so we're just going to make sure that we let it idle for a little bit you know runs fluids and then from there we're going to go check it again making sure that um all the levels are still good we're still great and we're still uh right to um get this thing off all right okay now we can turn off the vehicle now like so grab your piece of paper all right and this looks good right here just a slight tad bit over now that's probably because some oil left inside the gallows or the gallows and inside the pan but besides that it should be fine we can just put this back into the into the tube like so all right and that should be it so we can use all the oil that we got all six quarts we got everything done but i hope this video was helpful so if you have any 
other suggestions, any tips or so, you can link it down inside of comments for all of us to share. And we can improve on that. But for now, hope this helps you out.